Welcome to Cao Sink in China, southwest of Shanghai in the Zhejiang province on the south bank of the Jiantang River estuary. This city's history stretches back more than 2,500 years. As well as the rich heritage, Cao Tsing is an ideal venue for water sports with excellent modern facilities. And for four days, the Lake Didang was the beautiful venue of the 2019 ICF Canoe Marathon World Championships. 非常欢迎来自全世界各地的呃各国的皮划艇爱好者、运动员、教练员，呃，来到我们美丽的千年古城东方水城绍兴。吉当湖啊，是一个美丽的这个湖畔，呃，就在我们的古城的旁边。呃，提档湖公园呢，我们正在努力地把它打造成为一个智慧体育公园。呃，我们提档湖的水面有两千多亩，呃，这个非常适合开展我们这次水上运动。我们希望把这里呢，以水上运动为特色，打造一个综合性的体育公园。Unlike Olympic sprint canoe and kayak. Marathon is a separate discipline of the International Canoe Federation. It's a completely different game. Tactics play a decisive role on the race course. Instead of straight line speed, like in the sprint categories, here the paddlers have to position their boat strategically amongst the fleet. We have short, uh, short distance marathon, and we call it 3.4. And also we have long distance from 10, from 11 till. Uh, till 30 kilometers. More or less, we talk about uh, the big races like the senior serpent at two hours and 15 minutes, nearly the same, uh, this, the same time as you do in a marathon running. Except for the distance, there's one more critical element in canoe marathon that makes it even more technical and unique. Athletes must exit their boats and carry them for a predetermined distance until they re-enter the water. It's called portage. Yeah, the portage, it's, um, it's difficult because you, you have to be perfectly in sync with each other, like in the K2. On your running, you have to, you have to be able to do, do it really quickly and get out in and out the boat very fast. Um, and your, your running has to be strong, so you need to train your running as well as, well as your paddling. So, yeah, the portage is a good, um, it's, it's a nice little extra part of the race, which makes things a little bit more difficult. There are four main categories in the ICF Canoe Marathon World Championships. Canoe solo and two-person, and kayak solo and two-person. In a kayak, the paddler is seated and uses a double-bladed paddle, pulling the blade through the water on alternate sides to move forward. In a canoe, the paddler kneels and uses a single-bladed paddle to propel the boat forward. 468 athletes from 38 countries gathered to battle through four days of busy competition on a specially designed technical race course. Love this course, as well as spectators love uh, uh, all the bridges where athletes crossing through. No, it's a unique race course and I think athletes as well as all the participants will take a lot of good memories at home from this uh, road championship and especially from this race course. A breathtaking opening ceremony filled with numerous Chinese references welcomed all the guests and participants. The first two days were all about the future of the sport. The young guns fought for the title over a total of 18 races, with the Hungarian team dominating. They racked up seven gold medals by mid-championship. Moving to the last two days of the competition, the senior categories provided spectacular racing with some remarkable records being laid down. Denmark's Mads Pedersen entered the history books in canoe marathon by becoming the first ever athlete to win both an under-23 and a senior world title at the same ICF championships. I feel amazing. It's incredible that it was possible to do this. So I'm super stoked and so grateful because I've put in a lot of hard work and did everything all year to, to be here and win under 23 and 
do my best to get a good position in the senior and then two in the senior as well, that's just incredible. It was uh, tough because you have to go through all the bridges and when you're a big group then you push each other. So we were fighting a lot uh, in, the, in the kennel and under the bridge from the beginning but luckily I had my good friend Nikolai in the start to help me uh, get in some good positions so that was a big help as well. On the final day in Sao Tsing, the fastest two-person boats raced as the big finale of the championship. Winning in a double-hander is a different story because success is so dependent on teamwork and timing. You have to know each other quite well and combine very well. Uh, like Dave and I, we've been paddling together for five years now. It's a complex relationship. You have to know exactly what each other are thinking. Um, at the right time to make the boat move in the right way. In the K2 women's division, another incredible record was set from a veteran of the sport. Hungarian canoe marathon legend Renata Tse, together with Sofia Celai Voros, took the title. As it was the 20th gold medal for Tse, a special tribute was prepared for her honor at the prize giving. In the final and most anticipated race of the championships, anything could happen. But it was the Frenchman, Quentin Urban, and Jeremy Candy who were the best amongst the best. After a hard to forget one hour, 58 minute race, they were crowned world champions and took home the first ever gold medal for France in canoe marathon. So happy we are. Uh, we wanted to win so bad the uh, it's been now four or five years that we are on, on the tour and we always finish fifth or maybe fourth. But I think uh, the training and uh, all, of, all of it this year, well, this season was perfect and yeah, the race was too, so we are really, really happy. Zhao Ting provided a perfect venue, ideal for the sport. Everyone gave their best to represent their country and their performance, experiences and memories will see them through to the next Canoe Marathon Worlds.